parts of myself that come together to make what you see in front of you. Somebody who's a warrior, trained for battle, you do not want to mess with this dude. And then the stone of reason. I don't think I really need to say more. Now this last week, right after Valentine's Day, I dropped my, you know, I guess let me call it the eternal love break song. I mean, uh, break, right, so, no, don't do it. So, screw it. Now last week, I released my eternal ballad for the heartbroken, Falling Out of Love, also known as Fallout on iTunes. Go get that. Now... I have to say some words because, you know, I got on iTunes pretty quick. It's actually not that hard of a process. And it was on within, it was less than a day I was on iTunes. And in less than an hour on being on iTunes, I gained my first true hater since becoming a rapper. This guy named Truth15, fuck you, whoever that you are, eat a dick and choke on it, tried to tell me that, wow, this is terrible. How is this music? Well, first of all, if you want to say my shit's terrible, that's fine. But don't ask how my shit is music. Maybe it's because I played the piano on five different tracks. Maybe it's because I am a musician. Maybe it's because it's on iTunes. I want to talk to you. I don't know. About something that's what are the reasons the it could be right music? now? It's you know big news everywhere. We just saw the funeral yesterday. It is the passing of Whitney Houston. May she rest in peace and go to heaven. Now we have lost our beautiful songbird. But I want to remind everybody of a few things in her absence that I'm sure she would be quick to tell y'all. Leave Bobby Brown alone. It is not his fault. He did not have anything to do with her death. He wasn't even in the same state, same city, same hotel. He was across the country. So stop blaming Bobby Brown. That upset me a lot. Everybody took to Facebook and started talking about, oh, Bobby Brown's fault. Bobby Brown did this. Bobby Brown did that. Man, if Bobby you Brown think that this is Bobby Brown's fault, you need to go see Being Bobby Brown, the show, and recheck out that episode and learn yourself. Now, Bobby Brown Bobby didn't go to Whitney's funeral that we saw on Saturday. And from what I heard, it's because he showed up with too many people. They said he could bring two people, and he brought nine. Now, Bobby Brown is a nigga. I don't care what nobody say. I'm sure he's rolling deep wherever he go. He, I'm sure those nine people could have all been his kids. So I don't see what the other family was hating for. P.S. Much love to Bobby Christina. I've lost my father when I was young. I understand that's a very hard thing to go through. I wish you the best in everything that you may endeavor to do in this life. And I encourage you to find your passion and that thing that you can love enough that you don't feel that gap anymore. That is all.